Okay, so now after these wages have been set through collective bargaining, the firm comes and say, um, what's going to be my price? Well, in this case, there are two components of prices. We have the markup, and then we have something that we're going to call relative costs. Now, imagine that firms only use labor to produce output. This will be the production function. And this A represents technology, the productivity, meaning the amount of output that will be produced by one worker. So when firms make a decision about hiring a new worker, they not only look at the nominal cost of paying him, which is just his wage, but they also look at how many units of output this worker is going to produce. That's A, and that's how productive that worker is going to be. So firms really look at relative costs. What you pay when you hire a new guy and what you get in terms of output for hiring this guy. So you really care about this ratio here. Firms do a cost-benefit analysis. So now that firms know how much they got to pay in respect of how much they get when hiring a new worker, when the relative costs are given, they need to set a price. If we were in a perfectly competitive world, theory tells us that the prices will just be equal to the costs, and there will be no profits. But in the real world, with imperfect competitions in the market, uh, firms do have profits. The profits are given by this markup they charge in prices over costs. So imagine that a firm produces this unit of output, output and pays for that unit of output this relative cost. So if firms want to make profits and this is the cost they're facing, they will need to charge something extra, which we call the markup. So this something extra they're charging could be, for example, 20%, and that's how much they charge extra to the consumer in order to have profits. So if prices are composed by these two components, the costs and these uh, markup, this percentage over costs, then the price will just be this guy plus this guy. But that could be rewritten as this expression right here. 1 plus a markup, all that times the relative costs. And that is how we get the price setting equation.